<laughs> Give me all your cards. Ah! What? I win. Welcome back. Mommy Suzanne won't be here today with us because uh, she's the one who wins the game. We are gonna be telling you something about games. So welcome back. I teach her she wins. Cars me back again from New England or New Zealand, whatever your dreams are, you know, like <laughs> and um, today finally we get to the core of the game series. Guess what? We talk about games. <sighs> I know, right? I mean, meet up, okay, you know, like Kickstarter, okay, games. <laughs> All right, we are gonna try to do something different here. We'll, uh, I picked one game, he picked two because he's the game expert, as you know. Uh, an Mick. expert, enthusiast. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna give you a quick review of pros and cons, why we like it, and uh, our rating from zero to 10. I mean, not that we're like, ah, oh, the experts gave it a six, you know, just to make it more fun, I guess. You like it? And, anyway, and all these games that we're going to talk about are on Amazon. They're, so they have no problem finding them. Yep, yep. So I let. What, why don't you start? And then I'll do mine. And then you. Know, okay, card sure. to, today: Transylvania Curses and Traders and Biblos Dice. Start. Pick one and start. So Transylvania uh, Curses and Traders. This Pros was, and cons. This was a Kickstarter game. What I like about it is it's very heavy on the horror theme. You got. What is the theme? Uh, the theme is you're a bunch of investigators in a graveyard uh, looking for uh, gear to uh, eliminate your other... Horror, right? It's horror. Uh, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean horror. H horror. The theme is horror. How do you pronounce that? Anybody? <laughs> it's good enough. Horror. It's good horror. Okay. <laughs> but it's not, it's not, it's not, there's nothing really scary about the game. It's just that it's one of those game of dark shadows where people are, are exploring a graveyard. You're trying to find some gear and... Uh, it's a player el el elimination game where you're trying to uh, get rid of your opponents. But if you get killed, you can come back just to a reduce functionality. You also have the ability to turn into a werewolf or a vampire or a zombie, monster, uh, right? a monster with, with monster powers. It just makes the game fun. Um, and so, uh, cons. The, the cons is that the game needs at least three people. It does play up to six. Uh, it also needs a, a, a good playing area, area because it's a modular board that needs to, to spread out. But um, otherwise, uh, I is, think... Isn't it a little too simple, maybe? Could it be? Yes, the, the, the game is simpler. Again, it's not really a, as much as a strategy game. It's just a fun game playing a graveyard theme. All right, Carl. Now you can tell us your personal rating from 0 to 10. Let's try to be like, you know, let's, let's go like, oh, damn, you have that. Give me a 12. Where is a 12? You know, like, um, no, I, 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 I remember you're an expert. Experts are always like, you know, low in numbers. <laughs> That's experts, your term. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'd give the game probably um, a 7. 7. Uh, we and have the you know, you know good at computer beating, so it's a seven. Right? And, why, and why seven? Why I want to rate higher is because I think that all games should be more flexible about playing any number of players. I mean, ideally, it should be a solo version, even with two with two players. So, so often you get couples where if it doesn't play at least two people, it's kind of a downer, and they have to look for other games. Thank you, Car. I guess it's my turn. To talk about be scared, be very scared. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about my favorite game here, so I'm biased. Android Netrunner, the living car game. I even said it with a British accent. All right, <clears throat> as I said, I'm a little biased because it's my favorite game ever. Best game ever. Uh, the beauty about this game is that it's a challenge to your intelligence. It's a very uh, smart game. You can really squeeze your brain to try to <laughs> to try to uh, overpower your opponent to win the game. Uh, so there is a lot of strategy behind it. There is a lot of uh, seeing what uh, what kind of information you're getting as the game develops uh, and using that information against your opponent. But at the same time, it's a game of heart. You can really bluff a lot in this game. You can win the game without having good cards, without having a good brain. Like, like, <laughs> Like me, but with a lot of bluffing. You can scare your opponent into 
uh, not daring to make a certain move while getting some time to get good cards or get, getting a good strategy back. So it's a, it's, it's a complete game. And it's asymmetric, so every time it's different. You can play different roles, the corp or the runner. One final thing as a cons, there are so many, there is a huge community out there. So it's, uh, it's, it plays only with two players, but you can do, organize like meetups uh, and like, <laughs> hey, he's the expert, and challenge different players. You know, there are tournaments out there. I mean, I'm not that good, but I, I've heard there are tournaments out there and people win actually. So it's, it's great. Cons, I would say the only one that I can see is that you are objectively limited if you don't own all the expansions. It's collectible! <laughs> or at least <clears throat> some of the expansions. <laughs> so it, it is a lot of investment in terms of money. You know, like if you're not, if, if say you're living under a bridge, uh, maybe you don't want to start playing under a runner because it's very uh, addictive. But hey, my rating, it's, uh, uh, I would like to give it a 10, but I'm trying to be, a, you know, hosting a show and be a serious expert. So I give it a uh, 9.5, just because <laughs> it's a little expensive to 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 be a good Nirvana player. Carl, back to you, to our final review. Third game of the day. What, what, what did you pick, Carl? What did you pick? I'm curious. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's like, whoa, what is he doing? <laughs> Didn't you read the script? <laughs> we have script. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are. We are uh, it's, it's big little dice. This it is, is nice. another Kickstarter. Uh, this game is more strategic than the uh, Transylvania game. Uh, for the most part, you've got uh, plays as well with two players as with five players, so it, so it scales very nicely. Uh, it also plays in under an hour, another big plus, small, okay. a small playing area, which is important as far as for being able to pull it out almost anywhere. Is um, it just about luck because of the dice? No, that, that uh, it's, it's, it's really kind of a, a, a worker placement game where you roll dice and dice will give you resources to pick from. And for the most part, you've, you've got these different ladders as far as for representing how, how many resources you have. The game ends when you're at the, the, the peak of, this, of, the, of the ladder for the resource. The problem with that, though, is just ending the game does not mean that you win. Basically, there's victory points, and so you would have to be careful doing a balancing act of when you want the game to end as far as for how other people are doing with different ladders of resources, which are um, being measured. Um, then I, another nice thing about the game is that it has a, a market where you're bidding for resources, and there's bluffing that happens during that hey, time. So that you can end up getting burned, or you can burn other people trying to bid up the, the prices that you can't afford. And what about the cons? Is there uh, um, the cons. I don't really know of any cons. Probably the the, the only kind I can think of is that uh, this game is probably not really what well, a gateway game. A gateway game is someone that could easily pick up without having any experience beyond monopoly. So pretty much, you can you can play it only if you're ready into this type of games, you, you know, certain mechanisms, you know, you know. You, you, for the most part, if you knew the games, you, you, you have to have someone teach this game to you. Okay. Uh, it would not come to you automatically. Hard, but, you know, hard to learn. Okay. Thank you, Carl. That was great. And uh, wow, I'm so, that was great. We finally talked about games. I'm a little shocked here, so I don't even know how to close the episode. Um, well, <laughs> before you close it, uh, for this game, I'd give it a rating of an eight, just because it scales very well, but, uh, it, it plays uh, very uh, in a small area, and the, the nice thing is it's not a brain burner. It's, I mean, even though it's a strategy game, it, it's, li it's light enough that you can have, ha have fun without having a headache afterwards. Thank you, Car. I almost screwed everything up, so uh, I guess that's it from, from us today. Back to New England or New Zealand, wherever you guys are, right? And we love you. Subscribe, <laughs> like the channel, more reviews to come. You'll see our cameraman, as I said, there is no only Suzanne today because she wins the game, so I'm gonna do it. All right, you group. God's Gambit's here, and it's a game of love. If, if I do this, where does God Gambit's go? You can put your hand up in front yeah, of Yeah, but it would block one of us. No, uh, it's not blocking uh, you. Uh, uh, I can see. You can see, I can see a lot. Five you know, lanterns see. this way, cap of the cap this way. Oh, invite <laughs> guests to this great show, all right? Invite guests. That's what happens when you get guests. Are you happy? It doesn't look as nice. No, but you can see the titles, which is better. Yeah, the but, but that, that, that would be weird. I mean, it's not a neat, you know, it's not neat. Well, no, what I was thinking about for neat is that 
Yeah. Basically, you're showing like, really? like a game store. <laughs> well, no, yeah, it's well, good. Try to profile yeah. this yeah. stuff. Okay. Because I got trying to support Kickstarter, guys. <laughs> Anyways, Ali, there's lots of space. You can see your. Okay. Can you? Hello. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I just put the smaller one to the front. There. And so, so Sony's can just just put kind of like. Okay, this is the first and last episode in which we invite guests. <laughs> Change completely the show. Now it's just a, a bunch of heads. So it kinda, it's it's kind of it's kind of I don't know. It's just. Uh... I, there's plenty of space. Yeah, but I feel like. <laughs> it is. In my car, it's a real friend of ours. It's just gonna show. It's just gonna change the setting of the show. <laughs> you, you are prepared. So, uh, Molly, uh, where is Molly? Okay. <laughs> she walked off. <laughs> Teacher, she walks away, but.